she got an at-home pregnancy test done, which confirmed she was pregnant. We were both really overjoyed and happy. A few months later, I was planning on proposing to her, and I had already brought the engagement ring. But I wanted to confirm first that I was the father before proposing to her. Welcome to the Holland Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. But before embarking on an expedition to the vast collections of life's lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your eagerness with a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell like a victory bell signaling success to become a patron of wisdom. So stow your baggage of doubts, grab a ticket to success, and let's enjoy this ride together. In today's episode, am I the a-hole for breaking up with my girlfriend after a prenatal pregnancy test? And I want to thank Mary, my super fan, for sending this to me. I, male, 26, <clears throat> was in a relationship with my girlfriend, female, 26, for almost six years. We loved each other, but last year my girlfriend and I decided to separate for a while to rekindle our relationship. We placed no restrictions on the separation, and we were free to do whatever we wanted and act as if we were single. We took a break for a couple of months. The break was much needed to recharge our relationship. That is called a breakup. Stop it with the politically correct bullcrap and call it what it is. Who initiated this breakup, you or her? Usually, when a woman initiates this, it's because she wants to monkey branch to what she perceives as a better deal. And if it doesn't work out, she has you as her fallback position just in case. She goes and chases the bad boy and no, she has you in her back pocket to be her beta provider so she can settle for and manipulate. As a rule, if you can't make it work the first time around, don't let there be a second, because chances are you have no idea what they're bringing back with them. And in today's world, some of those things don't have a cure. The exception is you are absolutely sure they have overcome whatever negative behavior patterns which led to the failure in the first place. Oh, by the way, that goes for you too. A week after getting back together, my girlfriend showed signs of pregnancy. Uh-huh. What did I say you were to her? She got an at-home pregnancy test done, which confirmed she was pregnant. We were both really overjoyed and happy. A few months later, I was planning on proposing to her, and I had already bought the engagement ring, but I wanted to confirm first that I was the father before proposing to her and getting a prenatal paternity test done. Slap to the back of the head. You just got back with her, and a week Later, she's pregnant? That head slap was for seeking to marry her so soon. Guys, women may be the gatekeepers to sex, but we are the gatekeepers to marriage and commitment. Just because she gets pregnant doesn't mean you must marry her right away. Stop, think, look, listen, and investigate. Don't 
bind yourself with a state contract, that's called a marriage certificate, not in your best interest, and it is designed to screw you over. Take care of your obligations, yes, and don't race off to the guillotine. My girlfriend and I both wanted to do the NIPP test, and that's a postnatal te pregnancy test, by the way, to confirm that I was the father. My girlfriend said she did have sex with someone during our breakup. Well, gee, I would think so. How else did she get pregnant? So there was an off chance I wasn't the father. But we were very confident that I would be the father after a week. Uh-huh. Smart move. Guys, this should be added to the 21st century man law book. Always get a paternity test before you sign that birth certificate. If she resists, manipulates, cries, starts fights, involves families to get you to change your mind, or tries to shame you into backing down, that is one massive red flag. I'm talking bigger than the red flag at a May Day parade in communist country you know where. That just means now you must get one by any means necessary. See a lawyer and find out the procedure to have your name removed down the road if you get one secretly after the baby is born. Also, ask about paternity fraud and does your state or municipality or province have such a statute? We received the results a couple of weeks later and I, wait for it guys, wasn't the father. I was extremely sad and dejected and my girlfriend was very sad too. I bet she was. It just hurt me a lot and emotionally I couldn't process it. All right, first of all, I feel sorry for you and I'm sorry this has happened to you. However, this just makes me think I'm right. She had someone in mind when you broke up since she knew you would take her back. A week later, I broke up with my girlfriend. The break-in breakup was extremely traumatizing for my girlfriend and even for me. I told my girlfriend that I just didn't want to be the baby's father and that if possible, she had to try and contact the bio father and let him know. I helped her move back to her parents' home. Am I the a-hole? No. You are not. She is. She obviously had unprotected sex with another guy. And think about this. You were with her for six years and she never got pregnant. And she breaks up with you and gets pregnant and comes running back to you. In the comments below, tell me what that sounds like, guys to all of you who are currently watching. So just a quick update. As a few people in the comments were wondering as to whether my ex knew who the bio dad was, I called my ex last night and asked her if she had found the biological father. But she said no, that she just knew his first name but didn't have his number or any social media. She had met him at a bar and it was pretty much a one night stand. Okay, this is even worse. You took back a girl who had unprotected sex with a random guy from a bar and got pregnant, but didn't with you in six years? I asked her how her parents are taking it, and unfortunately, they aren't taking it too great, and they are being really critical of her. Her parents really liked me, and they had no idea we even took a break. Slap to the back of the head. Dude, 
This tells you even more of all you need to know. I hope to God you told her parents everything, because she's a lying 304 and you wanted to marry her? This is why I said previously, guys, just because she gets pregnant doesn't mean you must marry her right away. Stop, think, look, listen, and investigate. Don't bind yourself with a state contract that is not in your best interest and is designed to screw you over. Take care of your obligations, yes, and do not race off to the guillotine. My ex was a bit of an emotional mess when I called her last night, and I really felt bad. Um, no longer your problem. You dodged a bullet. I really wish that the baby was mine. My ex and I really envisioned spending the rest of our lives together with each other. Slap to the back of the head. Really? With what appears to be a lying 304 who's demonstrated to you her ability at poor judgment and you regret not making her your wife? Here, have another slap to the back of the head. Are we learning a lesson here, guys? Seriously, the rules of the game have changed since our father's time and we must now adapt. I really wish the baby was mine. My ex and I really envisioned spending the rest of our lives with each other. But it sadly isn't. I told my ex last night that this, this would be the last time I was going to call her. Good, finally. And wished her well in her future. She was crying really badly at the end. And it pretty much broke my heart and I hung up. Okay, you're young. I hope you've learned from this and you'll get over it. Meanwhile, focus on improving your mind, soul, and body. Go to the gym. Take up a martial art. Hell, join an organization like Toastmasters and learn the art of public speaking. The point is to focus on creating a better version of who you are and through higher personal standards, you will hold the women who want to be part of your life to a higher standard as well. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and share this with at least two friends who definitely need the wisdom of my channel. As a matter of fact, make that a personal mission. I want your personal stories to share. If or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the whole story and the link just in case it's not there by the time I get to it. Email it to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help grow this channel and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, check out my memes, or subscribe to my Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. In doing so, you are certainly helping to educate other men and have the best revenge by living well. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, give them a thumbs up, make a comment, because it helps me continue to make more content.